Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're going to be reacting to another one of Med School Insider's videos, which I forgot the name of, so hold on a sec. Is it possible to enjoy medical school? That's the video we are going to be reacting to, so let's go ahead and get into it. Now I haven't actually seen this video yet, but I'm hoping it has something to do with kind of work-life balance in medicine. As I always talk about, it's very important to enjoy your life outside of medicine, which is why work-life balance is so important. And that's something I always talk about on this channel. So I'm hoping this video goes into that, but let's get into it. So before I get into this video, huge shout out to Kevin Juval over at Med School Insiders for always crushing this content. Kevin is my boy. Now let's get into the video. Oh wait, I forgot to record. They say medical school are the four roughest years of your schooling life. The immense volume, complex physiology, and sleepless nights are a recipe for misery. So far, very accurate. Dr. Jabal, MedSchoolInsiders.com. I know I'm not the only one when I say that medical school was my favorite four years of schooling. Sure, high school was carefree and relatively easy, college was all about exploration and growing independent, but medical school offers something unique. This I could not agree more with. I had a fantastic time in high school, more so a more fun, funner, fun, a better time in college. Med school was actually the most fun for me, regardless of it being the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life. I have made lifelong friends that I talk with every single day, go on trips with, and just met some exceptional people that I wouldn't have met otherwise. College was fun. There was certainly more free time and more partying, but the subject matter of classes wasn't always focused on areas of interest. This is accurate. So there was a, I mean, a ton of free time in college. For those of you who are in college right now, you will never have more free time again in your entire life. College is just full of free time and I didn't even realize it while I was in college. Even as an athlete studying, I still had a ton of free time and those who weren't in athletics even had more free time. The partying, however, was very much so ramped up in college, less so in med school, but still there, other than you might think. Medical school helped me discover what I was capable of and grow into the person that I am today. This, this is huge. Med school pushes you beyond your boundaries that you don't think you are capable of, and it helps you grow and realize that you can do stuff that you never thought you would do. Pretty crazy. As a college student, you have to deal with GEs and other mandatory classes that have little to do with practicing medicine. This, got college, I swear. I've always said, just streamline college. Like, why do I have to take I don't know, the, the, some of the classes I took are so ridiculous just to like fulfill the requirements. Like why? Change it. If you're doing medicine, why do I need to take a pre-Civil War literature class? Like, I, I don't care. I'm doing medicine. But in medical school, just about everything you study is highly relevant. It yeah, that, that's the key. Okay, I'll stop pausing it every five seconds, but I, I like what he's saying here because once you get into medical school and you know you want to be a physician, Everything you're studying is relevant. Regardless if you're not going to use it later on becoming a physician in a certain subspecialty, you're still studying stuff that's going to help you throughout your entire career. And sure, you'll enjoy some classes more than others, but that's expected. I loved cardiology, neurology, and GI, for example, but I was less enamored by renal. Yeah, I totally agree. There are some subjects in med school that you're not going to like or be that interested in, but you still have to know this stuff. My least favorite block, pathology, 100%. I don't know how, I can't do pathology. It was so excessive and it was so different than anything else, I just did not like pathology. Obviously, not many people do, but we need pathologists. They're very important to what I do. I do biopsies, give them to pathologists, and they tell me what's going on. So, what am I even talking about? If your school has mandatory class, that's generally just a half day, after which you can spend your time however you please. If class isn't mandatory, many students opt to skip, self-study, and unlock even more free time in- This is key. My school did not require you to attend classes some of them were mandatory, but not all of them were mandatory, which means an entire eight to five day of the lectures 
I could watch at double speed and get done within half the time. So if I really watched all the lectures, I could be done by 12 or one and kind of outline and then be done by five and have the rest of the evening to work out or do whatever I wanted versus sitting in the classroom from eight to five and then going home and doing all that stuff and not having any free time. So you really get that opportunity to kind of make it your own. And I think that a lot of med schools don't have mandatory class, which is good. I have many fond memories of studying with my friends in the medical school after class, bumping hip hop late into the night, studying for anatomy tests in the cadaver lab, and even the occasional late night shenanigans when we felt mentally fried. It was kind of funny. We had a ping pong table in our med school. So we would have random times, we got obsessed with ping pong or table tennis. I don't know what the correct term is, but we would, like finish studying and then my friend Julian and I especially, we would always go play ping pong till like 1 a.m. sometimes, maybe 2 a.m. while we're in the library. It was just a fun way to break it up and uh, get a sweat on amidst studying. There's something magical about studying hard with friends, having a shared struggle and maintaining control over your schedule. That's the thing, that's how you kind of build these friendships because you're bonding over this incredibly stressful four years. And I don't know what it is, but when you're like misery loves company. So when you're with these other people and you're just enjoying their company and also miserable as well, it's kind of fun in a weird way. It's hard to explain you'll be surrounded by interesting and impressive individuals that you can certainly learn from. See, this is one of my like mottos too, I always say, if you wanna be successful, you have to surround yourself with successful people. And in medical school, you meet these people from all different walks of life who have gained success in their own ways and are on the path to become more successful as an incredibly intelligent physician. So you want to kind of surround yourself with them and you meet interesting people and it's, it's crazy, it's good, it's fun. Unlike college, not everyone is going to be your age either. You'll have many non-traditional classmates with prior careers and families who are now pursuing a passion. This is very true because there were many people, I was actually older in my class because I obviously didn't go to medicine straight from college and some of my best friends are probably four years younger than me. We used to joke around saying they're like 18 years old, but nonetheless, you meet people from all different walks of life and different backgrounds. And because you're with people with similar life ambitions and goals, you'll make many close friendships that will last a lifetime. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, I talk to my friend group from med school every single day. We have a group text every single day we talk about whatever. It's not even medicine related, but it is nice because all of us are in different subspecialties and we kind of run things by each other when we have questions, so it's nice. But also, they're just good friends. Given the tight time constraints, you'll find yourself pushing your own productivity and efficiency, building systems to get more done in less time that will help you throughout your life. This is true because you push yourself so much and you're so efficient and so productive in that finite time you have to study and learn all this material. I think this kind of helped me going forward because I'm in fellowship now working 80 to 100 hours a week, but I still find time to make these YouTube videos and keep pushing here because I'm efficient at what I do and I can be productive and efficient at the same time. And I think I learned a lot of that from being an athlete and also med school when I was trying to drink from a fire hose. It was during these four years that I became who I am today. I developed authentic confidence knowing I could accomplish whatever I set my mind to. I grew more efficient, productive, and intentional with my time and energy. You really do find yourself and gain confidence in med school. And that's even further built on in residency because as someone who's about to be attending, your confidence grows throughout residency and you just know how to handle certain situations and become ready to kind of do it yourself and be the sole person providing for those patients. I explored dating and what I wanted in a life partner. Yeah, let's not forget, well, I guess I met Andrana and residency. But a lot of my friends met their significant others in med school because again, that bond that you're going through in med school, you develop close relationships with each other and they stick for life. And a lot of my friends married their classmates. Shout out Greg and Christy. I love medical school and I hope it can be a phenomenal experience for you as well. All right. So that ended up being a very optimistic video about med school and how it kind of opens your eyes and helps you grow as a person. I could not agree with more everything Kevin said in this video. Shout out Kevin for making another incredible video. It wasn't really much about work-life balance, but either way, it was still a good video. So on that note, I'll see you all in the next video. Make sure you smash the like, subscribe button, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And uh, yeah, see you on the next one. See you.